New game release discounts on the PlayStation Store January sale. These are a bunch of games that came out in 2021 or 2020 that I think are worth your time. These are big discounts, some of them are smaller discounts, but the focus of these is that they are new release titles, which means they're the newest of the new, they're the cream of the crop, basically. So some of them haven't been discounted before, some of them have been, some of them are kind of abysmal discounts, but it's, it's kind of worth it because you can see what the new stuff is and how much of a discount it is. So you can either choose to buy it now or wait for the next sale and compare it to the uh, to the price when the Easter sale inevitably rolls around. I've made a bunch of videos about the January sales, so check those out on the channel as well. If you're enjoying these videos as well, I would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. That would help me out enormously as well and allow me to continue to make awesome content for you guys. Okay, first up we have Far Cry 6, which is down 40% off. There's a couple of things that are significant about this. The game came out, I guess like two months ago now, I think it came out the end of November, and we're already seeing a 40% discount, bringing it down to $35.99. It's a big deal for a game like this because it's not a very old game. Ubisoft do do this with their games, though this isn't super uncommon. That's why I kind of suggest people hold off on purchasing Ubisoft titles at launch because they generally get discounted pretty damn quickly after launch. Uh, the second thing about this is you're getting two games for this one. You're getting the PS4 and the PS5 version of the game. So you're getting two editions, which I think is good. It's a good deal for this. It means for a trophy hunter, you can earn two platinum trophies. Uh, it's, yeah, not a bad price for this one. Not a bad price for this one. You always know what you're in for with the Ubisoft game as well. Guardians of the Galaxy is down 35%, down to $38.99. This is, again, two editions, a PS4 and a PS5 edition of the game. Guardians of the Galaxy is a weird one. It's not like an amazing action-adventure game. It's a very okay action-adventure game. It's better than Avengers if we're going to compare it in terms of that metric, uh, but I don't think it's as good as a Sony first-party action game like Horizon or Uncharted or anything like that. Is this a must-play? Probably not, but if you're into Guardians of the Galaxy and Marvel and comics and things like that. I think it's worth checking out. It's it's a fun enough action adventure game. You play as Star Lord, not the entire Guardians crew, which is kind of disappointing, honestly. In a pretty fun and competent action adventure game. You know, now that I think about it, yeah, I would say check this one out. I don't think it's a terrible game at all, and I think Square Enix did a really good job redeeming themselves, especially after the fiasco with Avengers. If you've maybe played Spider-Man and you're trying to compare it against like Spider-Man, Spider-Man is still way better than this game. It's it's very subpar compared to Marvel Spider-Man, so. That gives you a bit of a scope. Uh, Battlefield 2042. I can't vouch for how good this is because I personally actually haven't played this one myself. It is a PS4 only game, so you're getting one edition of the game, 33% off for 40 bucks. Uh, the only thing I'll say about it is like Battlefield, you're getting a first person shooter. I know it had a lot of problems with it at launch. Some people are in the COD camp, some people in the Battlefield camp. Unfortunately, I'm in the COD camp, can't escape now. I was keen to check this one out, but it's still a little bit too high in terms of price for me. I think it would like to see it a little bit cheaper down to uh, sort of that $30 price point before I pull the trigger on it. I'll probably pick it up during maybe the Easter sale uh, partway through next year when they've fixed a lot of the problems with the game and the multiplayer is probably a bit more lively as well. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, Definitive Edition. This one, again, is another one that's kind of hard to recommend with all the bugs and glitches. They have improved some of the stuff and they're continuing to do that as well. It's down to $47.99 to 20% off. Not a massive discount, but if you are wanting to pick this up and play it, it's a good price. Obviously better than paying full price for the game, which is what it's been up until this point. I believe this is the first time it's been discounted as well. You're getting both a PS4 and a PS5 edition of the game. So two SKUs, two Platinum, well, Six Platinum Trophies, technically. It is a bit rough around the edges, but uh, it's not a bad game, all in all. Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, both the PS4 and the PS5 edition. Again, two versions of the game for $29.99. This one here is hard to recommend because it is a high price for the game that you're getting. This game here was priced high to begin with at 50 bucks. It should never have been priced that high. I think $30 should have been the asking price for this game when it came out. So I would say this game being around $15 or $20 is probably a much more fair price point. You're getting about five to seven hours worth of content and it does feel a lot more like glorified DLC for the original Spider-Man game. On saying that, in terms of value, I think it's poor value, but in terms of quality, the game is fantastic. I can't really fault the actual game. It's as good as 2015, well, 2018's Marvel Spider-Man. It's, it's, it's equally as good as that. It's a great game. It's fun. It does everything that that game does, but improves on it, including the narrative and things as well. The uh, the challenge is that the cost is just a little bit too high. This game realistically should be much cheaper at this point. Still a great game though, if you're looking to pick it up. Deathloop is another weird one. This one here is 50% off, 30 bucks. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a new game that came out only a couple of months ago and it's already being slashed and slashed and slashed in terms of discount. It's really unusual because a game like this, which is critically acclaimed, getting 10 out of 10 reviews and things like that, shouldn't be getting discounted so heavily. I don't know why exactly it is getting discounted so much. My guess is that it's not selling maybe as well as they'd hoped it would be, possibly because it's a PS5 exclusive and there aren't enough PS5s in the wild to really make good economies on a game like this, and that's why Bethesda's discounting so heavily. It's very unusual though, but the game reviewed incredibly well when it, uh, when it came out at launch, so I assume there's something good there to be had, but 
I, I don't know why this is getting discounted so heavily. I would say it's probably going to get discounted even more heavily going into 2022 as well, given it's it's already seen so many slashes up until this point. Another game that is absolutely worth 30 bucks is Kena and the Bridge of Spirits. This is a really cool, classic, sort of semi-open world mascot platformer, I would say. Think along the same lines as Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, those kind of games. Uh, the classic PS2 era of mascot platforming style games. You've got your hack and slash mechanics, you've got your mascot character, you've got your click-to-thon mechanics here. Um, if you enjoy that kind of thing, it's great. Uh, 30 bucks, I think is a really good price for this game as well. Getting two versions of it, the PS4 and the PS5 version for this price, so that's good as well. Two Platinum trophies there. And you get an additional 5% off with PlayStation Plus, which everyone has at this point. Well, Game of the Year 2021 was It Takes Two, and uh, It Takes Two is down to $20 on the PlayStation Store. I've recommended this a few times, a really good one to play over the holiday season with a friend or a buddy. Catch Co-op or Online it has both functions, so if you want to play it together, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's a neat mascot platformer i would say yeah it's a platformer probably not a mascot platformer um style game the narrative in it is quite quirky and weird and different uh it's funny it's a bit silly uh, it's a good one to play with a friend i think i think you'll enjoy this one one game of the year so it does kind of speak for itself a little bit as well at this point uh, ratchet and clank is down to 50 bucks as well again this is a that's a hard one we've had this discussion before so i don't want to go into it too much but it's around that price point that i have trouble recommending games at that 60 dollars price point ratchet is is literally a seven hour game it's great ratchet is one of the best games that came out on the playstation 5 this year and i can't fault the game itself it is as good as i would expect a ratchet game to be but it's it's not i don't know it's it's it's, it's just not something i want to recommend people picking up for for such a high price point i think the game is great i think it would have benefited from a slightly lower price point at launch so that it could be discounted more quickly as well uh but the game is good you know you're getting a quality game if you pick this one up you can have a good time with it as well especially if you enjoy that genre of games but the price is just a little bit high for the amount of content that you're getting here unfortunately back for blood is down to 35.99 40 percent off you're getting ps4 and ps5 version of the game for this price i have a love-hate relationship with this i was really excited for back for blood when it came out i played it straight off the back of playing a lot of call of duty zombies and i did not enjoy this game at all i really couldn't get around to enjoying it a couple of my friends who were playing games with me at the time played it and they didn't enjoy it as well and i know george from tcs actually went on to platinum this game it took him a very long time and it was incredibly frustrating um but here's platinum as well i don't think it's a great game i think it's a fine game if you're looking for a co-op zombie game to play with friends a modernized one it is basically left for dead more modern uh, but that is a good thing and a bad thing it means it's good in terms of being the same as what you may remember from left for dead but it's bad because it's exactly the same as you remember from left for dead and games have changed a lot in the past 15 years 35 bucks you know it's not a bad price for it do i recommend it probably not call of duty vanguard which was probably my biggest disappointment of 2021 unfortunately well except for platinum and black ops 4 of course that was a bigger disappointment i was really excited for cod vanguard we had a really solid developer helming the actual game we had treyarch doing the zombies separately which meant that it was going to be you know two big pub two big studios collaborating resources to produce this thing and unfortunately i think every part of this game fell flat i think the multiplayer was weak i think the i think they rolled it out really egregiously with like loot boxes and things like that the zombies mode was very very weak and very lacking and the single player mode i honestly didn't even bother booting up apparently it's okay but i didn't bother even starting it because i was so disappointed with the rest of the game unfortunately so vanguard down to 38.99 pretty massive discount for a cod game especially this quick after launch if you're a massive call of duty fan go ahead and pick it up but i would probably just remake it Rick, honestly i'd probably just recommend playing cold war at this point i think it's a better game than this i think it has more content especially if you buy it now it's firing on all pistons at the moment with multiplayer with zombies with single player it's just a far superior game ghost of shishima director's cut this is another one that came left field this this year ghost came out last year and it was a great open world action adventure game from sony narrative driven focus with really really solid gameplay made by sucker punch the guys who did infamous and sly they did a fantastic job with this one this was a great great game this one i do recommend it's weird that they released a director's cut feels almost like they're trying to cash in on the game twice but it does appear that they have been doing a lot of development on it as well so you can be the judge of whether it's worth that extra price or not if you bought it originally probably don't bother buying it again as you're not really getting a bunch of extra content but if you haven't picked it up yet 40 bucks 33 percent off you're getting all the dlc extra content the uh, additional story component the all the multiplayer stuff you know it's probably worth it at that price point the game is great this one actually is really good and you're actually getting really good value for money here too diablo 2 resurrection uh this one really went under a lot of people's radars when it launched it didn't come out physically which meant that it didn't get a lot of buzz and hype as a remaster from activision they've done a really good job with the last couple of years with tony hawk crash spyro really hyping these up this one here they did not hype up at all 
I was looking forward to this game and it just came out. I didn't even realize it had come out. I honestly didn't know it had launched. And uh, for 30 bucks, 25% off, I think it's a good price for this. I really enjoyed Diablo 2 when I played it back in the day. Really classic hack and slash Diablo-esque style game. Uh, 30 bucks, I think it's a solid price if you're looking for that kind of thing to pick up. A game that I unfortunately just haven't got around to this year was Resident Evil 8. This is down to $30, 50% off. I think this is a really good price point for this game. Um, a really good survival horror or horror style game in first person, leading on from the story of RE7, if, you, if you're not familiar. I'm not even going to go into the story, let's just leave it at that. Um, it's 30 bucks. I think this is a good one. I think this is actually a really good price point for this game as well. Even though I haven't personally played it yet, I know the quality of this game is going to be good. I've seen enough about it. I know enough about it to, to you know, I, my expectations are quenched with this one. I'm going to play this in 2022 20, uh, as well. I need to, I just need to get around to it. Cyberpunk 2077, 50% off, uh, 25 bucks. Pick this one up at your own risk. Honestly, it had a lot of problems at launch. They have fixed a lot of that stuff, but they still haven't fulfilled a lot of their promises, which is why it's hard for me to say go and get it. I think it's a good price point for a game like this because you kind of, you know what you're getting. And I think this is fair. The challenge I guess I have with it is that they haven't released all their DLC or their patches or their PS5 version or anything like that yet. So who knows if they'll ever follow through with those promises, if they'll ever end up releasing all that content that they promised because they're chasing their tails trying to fix a game that came out realistically two or three years earlier than it ever should have. Mass Effect Legendary Edition, you're getting three games here for 30 bucks. That's $10 a game. Uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, the three good Mass Effect games. They're all remastered. They're done really well. They all have separate trophy lists plus an additional trophy list. This is a really good deal. Uh, it's an EA published game, so I don't know if you've got a problem with EA, then maybe don't get it. But otherwise, I think it's a really good deal a bargain for all three of these games they're all superb uh this is this is a steal honestly it's a really really good series of rpg style games i don't know how many of these games you picked up at launch and now you're seeing the discounts on them and you're like oh man i wish i'd waited i would be curious to hear in the comment section down below maybe you picked some of them up now let me know i'd, I'd love to hear from you if you enjoyed this video though leave a like don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one happy new year everybody especially to my patreons and channel members thank you to each and every one of you fine folks for helping to keep this channel's lights running 2022 is going to be an exciting year i cannot wait to show you what we have in store for this channel thank you to everyone over here on the side of me to helping to support the channel and to keep the channel going if you too want to help support the channel like these fine folks over here you can do so by hitting the patreon link in the description down below and as little as a dollar per month can help this channel out enormously alternatively if you want to become a channel member you can do the the membership button that's just below this video you get cool things next to your name you get to use different emotes in chat it's a whole thing thing either way i really appreciate you thank you all so much and 20 trust me 2022 is gonna be a good one all right